Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Scorpio. Is at the bottom of the deck we have the magician and this is mercury energy gemini virgo energy so this is an energy of someone who is taking control of their situation taking back their power trying to manifest a desired outcome here this is someone who is really trying to prove themselves so that they can get something that they want here this is someone who's trying to manipulate the circumstances to achieve this this goal um, but we are seeing someone who's being very proactive in the situation right now so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. So we have the Seven of Cups, Water Energy. We have the Two of Swords in the Reverse, Air Energy. And we have the Two of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So with the Two of Swords, we've got a lot of cards here showing someone who is kind of being in a state of confusion or um, an uncertainty. Um, it's like this person, they were indecisive. The Seven of Cups shows someone who's not sure. They're very cautious, but at the same time, they feel confused. They, they don't know how to move forward. They don't know which route to take. And the Two of Swords can show someone who's fearful of making the wrong decision, so they don't take action. But it's in the reverse, which shows an energy of them coming out of this disempowered state. This person has made their mind up about something that they were previously confused about. And this person could have kept you in limbo because of their confusion. It's like, they could have been stalling and it could have caused a stalemate, but there's an energy of having made up their mind. This person is becoming more clear on what they want and how to move forward. So there is an energy of this person stepping into that magician energy where they can actually take action because they have made up their mind about something. And there is an energy of an end to confusion. This person will be giving you certainty. They'll be giving you clarity. Okay, so... Let's clarify these cards, um, Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. And this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So there is again that energy of being stuck. Um, there is an energy here of someone who was very much in a prison of their own making, a mental entrapment kind of energy, but it's in the reverse, which is again showing that someone has kind of, it's like they've gotten clarity themselves and because now they know what they want, they can take action. There's someone here who's realizing that they're not as stuck as they thought they were before. They're realizing the ways in which they were limiting themselves. So we're seeing again an energy of freeing themselves from that mindset, freeing themselves from those limitations and um, you know taking charge taking control of the situation okay so let's see okay we have the ten of pentacles earth energy the king of wands fire energy and the seven of swords in the reverse air energy okay so this person is going to be transparent with you the seven of swords in the reverse is a very uh open energy it's like someone is um Something is being made clear to them so they can, you know, make it clear to you. Um, it's like this person's going to be very authentic with you. And they are also, this person knows what they want, so they're strategizing to get it. Um, with the King of Wands, they, they're gaining some sort of confidence, confidence to be more direct, more bold and assertive. And there is an energy of someone who's actually making the, the, the conscious choice, the conscious decision to invest in um, a, a long-term relationship with that Ten of Pentacles. There's an energy of someone who is confident enough to actually go for this because it's like they are releasing fears, fears that were holding them back, doubts, you know, this could be issues of their own worthiness or even fears of, investing in the wrong person or the wrong situation 
Um, the Two of Swords being in the reverse shows that they are overcoming trust issues and suspicions. You know, that energy that keeps you from moving forward. Um, there is an energy of someone who's ready to invest. They're ready to have a beginning here. And this is, it's like this person though, they do still want to take the lead. You know, there's an energy of wanting to remain in control. But at the same time, they don't want to do it they, want, they don't want to be debilitated. There's an energy of still wanting to pursue and take action because they are gaining that confidence to trust themselves and thus trust you so that you guys can move forward. Because this person, this is the kind of person who, you know, if they're going to invest, they want to do it properly. They want it to be long term. They want the Ten of Pentacles. Um, this is someone who, you know, they, they want to give it their all. And the Ten of Pentacles is really such a serious energy. It's it's really having everything. It's like a wish fulfillment because it's um, emotional, um, you know, security, spiritual abundance. There's that energy here. This person is wanting that kind of relationship. And they are ready to, you know, commit to this and show up every day consistently. There's that energy here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Scorpio. So the card says, balance spirituality and practicality, full moon in Pisces. Okay, so there is definitely an energy of someone who is balancing out their ideas. There's an energy of finding a balance. Um, we have a lot of um, indecision energy with um, here at the top. And the two of pentacles does show an energy of finding a balance within, understanding what they want and how to practically implement it. And this is motivating them to be able to take action. So there's an energy of this person will initiate something here with you. The goal from this person is to have the Ten of Pentacles with you, to have a serious, stable, committed relationship with the um, King of Wands. They are, um, again, it's like they are taking the lead in this situation. Okay, so I'm going to plot another card for you. Um, okay so it says attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully okay so there's definitely an energy of someone who's coming out of their head um someone here has been in a state that was um unbalanced confusing, overthinking, not enough action being taken. And it's like they're coming out of that. So, um, this is someone who is becoming more present with you. Um, and it, there is an energy of, you know, taking back their power. And this person is very attracted to you with the King of Wands being there. Um, there is something that pulls them towards you. And there's a desire to really make a committed relationship work with you. Okay, so I'm going to plot another card for you, Scorpio. So the card says, cheerfulness, it is spring again. The earth is like a child that knows poems by heart. Okay, so this person is, I'm seeing again with the spring energy, there's a desire to finally start something, coming out of the contemplating phase, taking action, going for it, but at the same time, still being strategic about how they go about it. But it's like this person is, you know, taking action. They're not confused anymore. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. I hope you have a really, really good day, Scorpio. Bye, Scorpio.